Well, good morning, friends. Coach Bob with you. And today, if things look a little different, that's because <laughs> things are a little different. Oh, yeah. We are in Tucson, Arizona, en route to San Diego, California. Um, going to see the Chorins again. See the grandbaby, Coach Vick's in the room. It's a little after five. Got up, shaved, and man, I tell you what, miles have been big on this trip. They've been big. We've been on it. Oh, hi. What you doing? On my phone as usual. <laughs> Wait on you. Wait on me? I'm so slow, aren't I? No, you're pretty fast. <laughs> Well, I'd love to chat, but I got to do a room check, make sure I didn't leave anything. I just did a room Vic check. Vic did it, but I'm paranoid, delusional. If I don't do a, a triple, double, quintuple room check, I always drive the rest of the day in fear that I left something. So let me do my room check. Get a cup of coffee, get on the road. We'll talk to you then. Got some cool things we're going to show you. We had a little footage when we leave in the house and stuff, but we all lost all that. So back, we're starting all over. All right, there are landmarks you never get tired of seeing, and I'm going to tell you one of them. One of them is what, Coach Vic? What would you ask me? What is one landmark that never gets old seeing? Uh, Picacho Peak. Yeah, Picacho Peak is freaking awesome. But there's Picacho Peak. It's very recognizable at that point, with that point on top of the rock. It's just the coolest thing. Freaking beautiful. I love Arizona. I told Vic. He wants to move to Tucson, Arizona now. What I'm thinking, there's something in the road. Let me get, let me not hit it. Oh. That would look kind of heavy too, didn't it? Is rent a place for six months just to come out here and live for six months and see if we like it? I don't want to live, live here. Six months? Maybe for a few months, yeah. We could do six months. <laughs> I can buy me a Tenere 700 and come out here and hit the trails. I'll never see you. Then I get to ride the trails and you get to, you get plenty of shopping time. I would say that we both win on that one. They had two Costco's, two Costco's and a Kohl's right oh there by Walmart. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll bring my sister out here. If she comes out here, then I'll come again. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So now, Bonnie, you gotta come. You gotta move out here. All right, here's Picacho Peak. We're getting closer. Definitely owe it to yourself. You need to do it. The air is clear and the ears are popping. Look, he really is driving. He really is driving. Today is day three or four in San Diego. Am I at a beautiful place or what? It is beautiful here. So I'm gonna step out here and just let you see where I am. This is San Diego's BMW motorcycle. I think it's BMW of San Diego or San Diego BMW. Anyway, the place is owned by a fellow named Gary Orr. He's a real motorcycle racer. And I just talked to a guy, his name is Mayo. He is from uh, Hawaii and he's a motorcycle racer too. So we're gonna go and look around this beautiful shop. It is quite amazing. Of all of the things that I've seen though, the thing that has surprised me the most, and I, I came up here the other day, was this particular motorcycle here. It is the, the uh, 850 Adventure, the GS850. It has a lot bigger than I thought it would be. It's definitely on the list. All 
All right, so let's walk around. We're gonna whoo, military man. You think we're near near a military base or something, wouldn't you? All these jets flying out here. Let's walk around inside. Let you see what they got. So this is their new dresser that's supposed to uh, compete with the Harleys. It looks really, really cool. That is just awesome looking, man. Awesome. Now, obviously, the 1250 is the granddaddy. It's the it's the Mac. You know, it's the one that everybody wants. You know, I rode the Pan America, but it's hard to it's hard to compete or even argue against the GS 1250. It's just it's just hard. Um, it, it's the one that started it all, and it is a beautiful, beautiful machine. So here's a 1250 and an 850 side by side. You can see the physical presence of the 850. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Big K1600, just a beast of a motorcycle. But when you start looking at the aesthetics, man, the R1200, or the R1250, the uh, RT, it's, man, it's just beautiful. This is the wall of fame in here, man. Pretty cool. Another thing that is a super nice touch, I looked over here, they've got where these guys have ridden particular motorcycles a long, long time, as in 100,000 mile, 200,000 mile. I thought I saw 300,000, maybe I didn't. There's a lot of 200,000s up here. So I'm telling you, if you get a chance to come up here and check this place out, you need to. I mean, this is really cool. Even if you're not in the market, just to come up here and peruse all of the history and all of the selection that they have, because it's just awesome. All right, so a week is going by. We're getting ready to head back. I'll get, I'll get the door. I'm gonna take some pictures of the out front. <laughs> There's Chelsea. She's trying to hide from the camera. <laughs> Go, put a move on it. So um, this is a place. It's uh, it's called the Studio Diner. It's kind of become a landmark. It was only built in 2003, but it's really, really cool. Looks like a street car of some kind, maybe a train car. Anyway, very, very cool. 
called the Studio Diner. So we're gonna eat a little, a little breakfast. Let's check it out. All right, so Coach Bick was telling me that she used to be a waitress. I have a hard time seeing Coach Bick as a bubbly waitress because she's really not that bubbly. God, no offense, none whatsoever. I love her, she's a wonderful woman. The lady's a saint, a bubbly, let's see. So she is going to wait the table. She's gonna, she's gonna be the way she was when she was in her 20s. See, Robert doesn't believe it either. All right, so here we go, you ready? All right, Coach Vick. Hi, how are you doing today? Uh, fine, how are you? I'm doing great. What are you writing? Are you ready for your, would you like any um, appetizers before we start? Do you have something you would recommend off the menu? Yes, the, the, the nachos are wonderful. Uh, what do they have on them? <laughs> Chicken and cheese and you'll be surprised. <laughs> Get out of here. That was her way of saying like, <laughs> what you can't read Why are you asking menu. me so many you questions? You can't read oh, okay, the Okay, I'll do the nachos. What do you have to drink that you would recommend? Y'all have, have, have a wet bar? Yes, I would do the, um... Can I get a rum and coke? Yes, get a rum and coke, and that's about it. So anyway, I waited table. Now, the reason I ordered the rum and coke oh. is because Coach Vic, a long time ago, the guy ordered a rum and coke, she brought him a rum and a coke. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say that Coach Vic was not a heavy drinker. Those are the kids right there. Now, pointing at y'all. You'll, you'll remember Chelsea, she's the one who put the uh, four gallons of barbecue sauce on her food. <laughs> and there's Robert, he's the, he's the angry guy in the Harley helmet. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's, that's on my resume. Played angry, angry guy, guy in Harley helmet, yes. Coach Bob 3. And then, you know this guy, CB5. He's busy having fun, and you know her. And then our youngest is Mitten. And then the little one's over here hiding in the, in the shade. Peekaboo! <laughs> All right, the question is always asked, if you are extremely intelligent, in fact, to the level of nuclear intelligent, you are an elite submariner who is highly educated, what is the one thing you think that you would do? And the answer is, you get a roach tattoo on your foot. What in the hell is wrong with him? I don't regret it. <laughs> what do you think about that roach tattoo? It's stupid. Stupid, isn't it? It's just stupid. It's just stupid. <laughs> All I can tell you, is Vicky got a tattoo last week. It's a flesh tone dot on her left butt cheek. Uh -huh. <laughs> that way you can't see it. Only she knows where it is. Robert, you're going with me, man. Now, are y'all gonna be mad if I take him to a motorcycle dealer or something? Okay, all right. The life of the grandfather. It's a tough life, I'm telling you, it's a tough life. All right, let's get this grand boy and get this woman in this fancy car we got here. It was covered in bird poop just 24 hours ago. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, get up, don't do the, you know what you love it when kids do the boneless chicken? Anyway, I think that bird had a Big Mac for lunch because there was still a slice of cheese and special sauce in it. Oh! All right, so as you would expect, I'm at the Triumph dealer right now. I'm um, looking at some cool stuff already. Check this bobber out. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Got a Yamaha Tracer over there, the used bikes there, right? Street Triple right there. Tiger over here. That's the less expensive one. Solder Trophy. That's nice looking right there, I like that. It's got some miles on it, man. It's been ridden, there's no doubt about it.
All right, Coach Vic and I are in an undisclosed location. <laughs> anyway, we're in Texas. We're on our way home. It was a great trip with the kids. It's been a long ride, man. Yes, very long. 12 um, hours yesterday. Yep. Not on the can -Am. Nope, it was in the uh, in, in the car. Yes. So we've got 13 hours today. Uh, late start today. I, man, I just wasn't feeling it. He didn't get up. Ooh, the old body was talking. He didn't to do me. his five o'clock wake up call. I did it, but I turned it off. Um, yeah. You know, all the nights. Uh, you know, we've, we've had a great time. We've had a great trip. But you know, you get out there and the fatigue. Uh, we sleep on the couch the entire time we're at our kids' home, and so. We just oh, say that the, the, the sleep on the couch was catching up. The old shoulders were hurting a little bit. It was nice to be in a bed last night. And I told Vic when I got up this morning, I said, you know what? Even if we're, being, we're gonna be home tonight and in our own bed, we can leave a little bit later. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. You ready to get this thing on the road? I'm ready. Put some miles behind us? Yes, I am. Can I help you? Hi. We are in where? Do you know where we are? We're in Louisiana. Sulphur, Louisiana. Sulphur. And what did we get? We got free donuts. Free donuts, man! And a Coke. Yeah, but the free we donuts! Got four of them. Five, I already ate one of them. You got, you got three donuts? I did. I got two of the cream fills and then got the vanilla iced one. Oh. Ooh, yeah. So you got so there's two vanilla iced ones in there right now, right? No, your, your vanilla ice with sprinkles and your you're jelly. jelly filled and then my two vanilla filled oh, okay. but I got one just plain vanilla cup okay Louisiana is awesome I don't care what you say I don't care what you say I don't care where you're from so Louisiana is awesome and to the girl that gave us the free donuts kudos to you although you might not see this video but kudos to you thank you Louisiana people <laughs> look at them playing <laughs> that's nice to see a family outside playing like that all right, well, just like that, if you're wondering, well, what the heck happened? We are back in Tallahassee. So we got back late last night, around, around 11 o'clock. It was a 13-hour drive, and but yesterday was a super easy drive. It was amazing. You know, we went, we basically drove, and, and it, it was a little, a little north of San Antonio, but basically we drove from San Antonio, Texas, to Tallahassee, Florida yesterday, around 960 miles. It was a nice ride. Um, felt good to get home, being we didn't leave early. It was really nice. It was wonderful to see the kids. But I hope you enjoyed this little trip because we went back to Cali. I don't think so. Let me slow down this dude. This road's awfully narrow. Don't want to jam him there. He's looking like, why'd you slow down? <laughs> I guess he's used to people running him in the ditch. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. All right. But anyway, you know, the LL Cool J going back to Cali. Going back to Cali. Going back to Cali. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, you know, we went back to Cali, but are we going to be going back to Cali? Well, I don't think we will. Uh, next year in, in March my son's getting out of the military they plan on coming to visit here you know in the fall so the next time if I go out there I'll probably be flying out there to help them drive a truck back or drive a car back or move some things that sort of stuff so you know I think my I think coach Vic and our trips to California I think those trips are over huh kind of kind of hard to imagine that uh, we have driven to California with the Spider and the car, I think five times, four or five times. So we've definitely made the trip quite a few times. As you all know, I don't, I don't mind the drive. I love to drive. And if Coach Vic was a little more open to it, <laughs> we'd be riding the Spider every time. But, but you know, with all of the things that we've had going on, we were obviously uh, quite concerned about her just even riding in a car for an extended period of time after her surgery uh, with the lightheadedness and the things that she had been experiencing for the last, for the last month or so. But she's doing well. Don't fret over her. But I'll tell you what, you can certainly pray for my beautiful bride. She's at home right now enjoying a nice, relaxing afternoon in the A.C. It's nice and warm. Everything's doing great. I mean, we're, summer's here. You know, it, it's the 90s every day now. Track's over and life is moving on, baby. So we're hoping to do the uh, Tale of the Dragon and uh, Blue Ridge and that sort of stuff 
I'm in the process of working on getting some maps and stuff. I don't know that area very well. I mean, I know where the tail of the dragon is, but I'm trying to put together a ride that will make sense, you know, that you're not backtracking and going all over the place. But we'll talk about that at another time. But if you do have any resources, share it down below, maybe of places that I can order maps and that sort of stuff. All right. Well, we are back in beautiful Tallahassee, Florida, so I want you to do me a favor. Go out by the motorcycle of your dreams eat right take care of yourself and remember if you're not having fun you are doing it wrong all right we'll see you on the road real soon <laughs>